I note the new research, by the way, on uh, a new poll on Labor's plan for the voice, which is kind of Aboriginal-only parliament in our constitution. Now, to get this passed in a referendum this year, Labor's going to need a majority of Australians and in a majority of states, four of them, to say yes, but the latest poll shows support for The Voice has already dropped six points and support in two states is now under 50%, South Australia and WA. Matt, Labor's plan for The Voice seems to be in trouble. Well, I, I think uh, what happens, or what is happening with The Voice is the more people listen uh, to what The Voice is about, the less likely they are to support it. Uh, there has been a notionally high level of support to date for The Voice, but I think that's been in the environment where most people have no idea what it is. Some, some people even probably think it's about a reality TV show involving singing. Uh, as people find out more about it, there's been controversy about it, uh, then, you know, then people are starting to think, well, actually, no, I don't want our country divided by race. So I don't think our nation, the problems that we befell our nation require more politicians in Canberra to fix because that's what The Voice is about. I suppose my other message here to your viewers, though, Andrew, is do not be complacent. This poll also finds that still only 26% of people are opposed to The Voice in total, and that is, I say, reflective of the fact that a lot of people don't understand it yet. And so I imagine most of your viewers are quite informed and have views. Make sure you do talk to your friends and colleagues about this uh, before the end of the year. A lot of them Good wouldn't advice. even know what is happening. Don't take it for granted that they think like you. As I say, Matt, if you just even a short conversation will probably convince them that this is a bad idea.